All right, time to get real, real honest. I'm gonna be talking about five negative things that are going on in San Antonio right now. I'm talking politically. I'm gonna be talking about the weather. Really, all things negative about San Antonio, just putting it all out there and seeing if you can handle these five negatives. So you're thinking about moving to San Antonio, but did you realize there are a lot of things that you really need to know before moving here? Here are five reasons why you may hate living in San Antonio. And if you wanna know what those reasons are, stay tuned because we're getting into it right now what's up everybody jason hernandez here in san antonio and if this is your first time on the channel and you want to learn everything about what it's like to work eat sleep live and have fun and learn about those five negatives Tap the subscribe button and click that bell so that you're notified every time I do a new video. We honestly get phone calls, emails, text messages all the time from people moving, relocating here, and we love it. So if you're thinking about moving anywhere in San Antonio, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even send out some smoke signals. However you want to get a hold of us, days, nights, weekends, I've got you covered when moving to San Antonio. All right, guys, I'm not going to just sit here and tell you how terrible things are and never move here. What I found out is that you guys just want a little bit of honesty. I want to set a few expectations because you're most likely going to be moving here anyway and kind of just want something to tell you what's really going on. So I'm not going to paint the town red negatively. It's all perspective anyway at the end of the day. So me being a local, I kind of see things differently and just deal with them. But working with new people, new blood that see things glass half full, it is what it is. I'm just going to paint these five things that are really going on right now and what you're going to expect here in San Antonio and see if you can handle it. Again, I welcome you to comment down below anytime I may spark something in you. All right, number one on the list is politics. If you're moving to Texas, something you have to get used to is red. Texas is very conservative. I'm not gonna get super political or into voting or anything like that, but Texas is a red Republican conservative state. But moving to Texas is not that bad. It's one of those special places that's the most open and inviting and will help you in any time of your life. But Texans, for sure have their beliefs and are very freaking strong in their beliefs. They love their state, they love their state flag, they love the American flag, and they love America. And that's just who we are. And with that being said, you're gonna be seeing a lot of people who enjoy their guns. We love hunting, we, hunting is uh, like, a rite of, like a rite of passage. Now, you're not gonna be seeing a lot of people packing guns all over the place. Yes, you can conceal, you can have guns for your protection, but what you have to understand is we're not out there waving guns all over the place being disrespectful and unsafe i have a 12 year old daughter who's been to the gun range multiple times before uh, just having her get used to what uh, the sound of a gun makes so she doesn't freak out too much if she hears one out one day something you have to understand is texans have been teaching their kids about guns for generations and generations it's something they enjoy doing as a family so Something you gotta understand when coming here is don't try to change things. So when you're when when the, when you hear a Texan say, just don't try, just don't come here trying to change things. We're pretty open and inviting to a lot of people moving here. Look, ask a Texan about what Texas means to them, and they will talk about it all day long. Get a, get you a, a bucket of cold beer and listen, cause they have the best stories now. All that being said, there is some silver lining of hope if you are a Democrat. San Antonio is a blue city and somewhat monetarily liberal. During the last presidential election, the people of Bear County voted 58.2% Democrat while 40.1% voted Republican and the rest uh, voted independent. So we got you covered both ways. If you want to move to Texas, but uh, you want to be in a blue city, San Antonio might be the spot for you. If you are a diehard Republican, uh, the surrounding towns may be what you're looking for and maybe your cup of tea. All right, number two is, uh, this is something that's not pushed on a whole lot, but it's religion. Me and my family, we believe in going to church. Uh, we believe in God. And in fact, my whole family goes to church and we can take up an entire section. And uh, we're that type of family that will stand around for like another 45 minutes after church is talking about 
everything in gen general, like if we didn't see each other yesterday, um, and figuring out what we're gonna do and where we're gonna go eat. But when moving here, you'll find a whole lot of God-fearing people. Religion is a massive thing here. Uh, for all races, you name it, Texans love their religion. Uh, you'll find us going to church on Sundays, holidays, and that's just what we preach to our children. Now, I've traveled to a whole lot of uh, different areas, different states over the years, and religion is taught more here than anywhere I've ever been. Texans are God-fearing. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. Open the doors for others, especially for women and our elders. We just have manners and manners are everything in which I value and I teach my daughter every single day. All right. What I want you to do is comment down below right now if you think that you can handle the lifestyle of living here. All right. Number three, this is something that doesn't get talked about a whole lot, but it's the animals. Yes, there are snakes. As I'm saying this, uh, knowing my luck, I'm probably gonna see one today, but I remember one time at my mother-in-law's, there was a snake, it was all coiled up in the closet. And to me, it looked like a 100 foot anaconda type snake, but it, actually once we took it out, it was probably between eight to 12 inches or so. Now granted, she did live in a place that behind her and behind her backyard was nothing but brush. So you could probably expect to see some sort of critters every now and again. Now, I don't want you to think that we're out here just hunting snakes uh, for dinner or anything like that, but you may run into a snake, especially if uh, you're out in the, some wooded area uh, doing some hunting, things like that, which you should have some type of protective gear like cowboy boots. Cowboy boots are pretty popular here in San Antonio and in Texas. Uh, the other thing is the mosquitoes. They can get brutal. Um, here are some of the things that you, may help you uh, with mitigating with the mosquitoes and whatnot um you can get a mosquito catcher uh, with a light that zaps them at night uh, you can call an exterminator to come out to your house and spray your yard uh, or you can get some of that sticky mosquito traps um, it's long sticky tape that attracts the flies and mosquitoes and it actually sticks to the tape now you're not going to get rid of these uh mosquitoes forever but these things may help you especially if you have that type o blood type that mosquitoes love now they're not out here in swarms or uh, gonna eat you alive or anything like that. But in the springtime, right before summer, if it's a very rainy season, um, that has that there's gonna bring a lot, a lot of mosquitoes, and that's something that you're gonna need to look out for. Another thing are raccoons, possums, and hawks. Be careful with those uh, small dogs because those hawks will come down and try to swoop, swoop down on those small little dogs. So just watch out for those. Okay guys, if you're liking this video, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. Comment down below on some of the things that you've heard. I'm always monitoring my comments, so I'll make sure to go in there and answer any questions you have if I don't cover them. Plus, they also make for some good videos coming up. All right, number four is the weather. It can get extreme, and I mean extreme. If you can't handle the hot, humid, muggy, especially in the South Texas, San Antonio area, it can get brutal out here. This is true in the first months of June when we're hitting records high of every day hitting 104, 106, 108 degree even, especially with that 90% humidity, it feels like hell out here. But once you get past those hot summer months, the rest of the year is pretty awesome. And if you're coming from up north, I'm sure you're getting tired of that snow already. Waking up in the, in the morning, it's dark, it's cold. Um, kids are stuck inside watching TV for six months because it's so cold out there. Uh, I remember living in the Midwest, and let me tell you, that was no joke at all. So for me to withstand the June, July, August heat, you make it what it is. Go to the pool, go get a drink, go get some beer by the river, or even chill in the AC. But on the flip side, when it does get cold out here out of the few times out of the year, um, people will go into panic mode. We'll shut down the whole city if it dips into the 30s or gets a little icy on the roads or even what happened on the Texas freeze, that was insane. We were not prepared for snow. We're not prepared for snow. And it really showed during that time. The best thing that you can do is start prepping your essentials early in the early months uh, before some of the severe weather hits because everything's gonna get wiped out at the grocery store, especially the toilet paper for, for, for whatever reason. But when when that freeze did heat, uh, hit, um, there were a lot of people uh, willing to help, a lot of Texas people willing to come out and, and, and and really help some of these people then giving them food they're giving them blankets they're opening up their homes uh, to get people warm and getting them a hot shower just making sure that people were safe it was pretty incredible to see in such a bad situation all right number five is the big city san antonio houston austin these cities are massive 
You may be coming from a uh, city that has lo less population and that's okay, but it's all about location and you might enjoy slower paced lifestyle, which you will want to see my last video on the top five small towns to move outside of San Antonio. But again, it's all about location uh, because of your lifestyle and what you like. If you move to the wrong uh, area of San Antonio, it won't be as enjoyable, but you have to realize there are a lot of people here and a lot of people moving here. And in San Antonio, we are looking to gain over 600,000 residents in the next 10 years. Now, it's all it's not all gain, gain, gain. There will be some people exiting and moving away, but San Antonio is a hot spot, especially what's going on with COVID and politics. People just want to move here. So if you can't handle a large city, this could probably drive you a little crazy especially if you have a long commute but where you move is where you want to spend the majority of your time for me and my family where I live I like to go to uh, Alamo Ranch they have a really cool movie theater out there called Casablanca um, they have uh, food beer bowling alley uh, just a really cool really nice setup uh, for the family um, and kids and all uh, there are plenty of popular restaurants in the area and a lot of things to do, uh, but you got to find the right time to go out there. Don't try to be hitting up uh, these places at five, six o'clock, uh, trying to get, trying to get down there with all the traffic. So if you can't handle a massive city, this probably is not going to be the spot for you. All right. The last thing about San Antonio when moving here, it's so freaking difficult. One of the things that's going to drive you nuts is so hard to figure out where to live. You are going to put yourself through hell and back just trying to do research, research, research. All these different areas, you can be 10 miles apart, you can be 10 minutes apart, and it's going to be two completely different lifestyles. It's impossible to figure out the perfect spot here, and it's almost impossible to see everything in some of these major Texas cities. So it's going to stress you out massively. Understanding lifestyles, that's why I keep on saying this. When you come, especially if you've never moved before, you're gonna, you take everything for granted in your, your hometown. You know the back roads, you know the back streets, you know the type of living where you can portray that to somebody else. And that's one of the things that we've absolutely mastered here is asking questions like, what's your lifestyle? When are you moving here? What do you like? What don't you like? What style of home do you need? What do you need to be close to? And we know these two, three, four areas that fit your lifestyle perfectly and we, we could suggest them because man, I hear it uh, from a lot of people all the time that have bought homes in the past saying, my realtor was showing us homes in the wrong area. This area was annoying. I hate this, I hate that. So we like to dive deep and setting some realistic expectations because you don't want to move to San Antonio and not have an idea of where to move to. That's what we love doing. So really, even if you're moving anywhere in Texas, we can get you in contact with a teammate all across some of these major areas. But the only way that we can help you is you got to reach out. You got to give us a call. You got to shoot us a text. Send us an email. Days, nights, weekends, we got you covered with your big move to Texas. I hope you enjoyed it. If this video helped you out in any way, please make sure you tap that subscribe button, click that like button, comment down below, and until the next video, guys, we'll catch you later. Peace.